Let's get started. Why delay? Let's start a new day. I've started a new save file. Got all my options all set up, I think. We got like VO and stuff in this one too, man. We're gonna be running a food truck across the country. Let's begin. Let's begin. Oh, is this me? The year is 2041. Nope. And the United States is reeling from war. But that hasn't stopped business from booming. Welcome to Tasteville recently opened its 1,000th restaurant. Chili Bowl bought a small island in the Pacific. Oh, shit. And Max Wieners continues to be in and out of various ventures. And as for Cook Serve Delicious, well, it continues to be regarded as the finest restaurant in the world. Dude, our tower is towering. Oh. Shit. Easy on the brakes, Whisk. Sorry, Cleaver. This old hunk of junk needs some love and care. Jeez, look at this place. Do you think anyone made it? Only one way to find out. Hello? Hey, Cleaver. I think I found a survivor. Give me a hand. On my way. All right. One, two, three, lift. <laughs> Holy crap, is that the chef from Cook Serve Delicious? I'm such a big fan. It is me. Wow, Chef. yeah, you recognize me. I've got some good news and some bad news. Your vitals look fine. Just some minor scrapes and brain hemorrhaging. But your restaurant is... It's gone. I'm... I'm sorry. No! <laughs> Cleaver, um, a word with you in private? What? What if we give Chef our truck and offer to help? You could be a guardian, and I could be the driver. Well, it would be nice to work with living people for a change. All right, then. It's settled. Okay, well, I didn't like hey, agree Chef! to... Hey, Chef! I have an idea! <laughs> that was pretty good. Insta-lore! This is nice. Delicious. There's the old familiar tune. There it is, baby. Woo! Delicious! Cook. Serve. Oh, shit. Delicious. Sultry. Woo! There it is. Serve. Okay, apparently we're done now. <laughs> Welcome to Cook Serve Delicious 3. Let's learn the fundamentals of cooking in a food truck as we barrel down the highway at intense speeds. Sure, yeah, that sounds good. All right, let's get moving. Great. I got early, early access. Yes, sir. Before we get to our first stop, let's make some food in this food truck. Can do. Click any holding station and press any of the listed keys about. Alright, right, yep. So we can go F1 for the hold station there. Hopefully my F keys are not assigned to anything else. I, I'm sure I'm going to be finding that out pretty quickly uh, through the course of this. Uh, today's menu board tells us how many orders of each food people will want at the next stop. Let's start prepping some foods. Okay. We need 12 of those. This is going to be interesting. They never told us what we should prep ahead of things in the, uh, in the second game. Oh, snap! Like the shoe! I got a level four hype train emote, baby! Let's go! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Send thanks. I've done it. All right. Off we go. To select items in the ingredient panel, click or press the letter indicated on the button. Easy. Below the food prep is the recipe of the order we need to prepare. List the ingredients needed to make a perfect order. A German pretzel would be a G. Done. Press enter. Oh, I've done this. Come on now. The order is now cooking in the holding station. Once it's finished, it will be ready to serve to customers. Easy enough. Let's make a few more batches to make sure we have enough. Sounds good to me. 
Copenhagen. Welcome into the pile as well. Thank you very much for the subs and bits and stuff. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for the hype. Let's make a few more batches indeed. Oh, classic. Hold on a second, Bear. How you, how you goofing this up this early on, friend? There you go. And then F4. We're arriving at the next stop. You'll need to serve customers their hot pretzels as soon as they come in. No problem. Classic. Done. There we go. Oh, I'm prepared. Now you can see out there we got the time ticking down, or the mileage ticking down, I guess. And then we arrive. To serve an order, just hit all those buttons, man. Just keep on going with the buttons. Wow, that's real satisfying. <laughs> oh, shit. You just, you, sh you, you drive up, going about 65 miles an hour, screech to a grinding halt, Throw open the metal window and just huck pretzels out at the starving customers. Stay for about literally four and a half seconds until you tear off out of there. This is my kind of game. Some orders are special orders that must be made individually instead of in a batch at a holding station. Select the order when it comes into the prep station. Prep an order, press the number, listen instead of the station. Okay, do that. Cone prep. Make a waffle, close the lid. Done. You've completed it and it's in the waffle iron. Wait until the order is finished cooking. When it starts to flash, we need to pull it out of the iron. Oh, I can do that. I'm real good at that. While I'm waiting, I'm going to make some pretzels. Ah, it won't let me. Follow the recipe below and use the mouse wheel. Click on the button directly below the ingredient or press, press space to turn the page. The ingredient has a two. It requires two of that ingredient. Okay. Space is going to be my go-to. I don't, I don't use the mouse in this game. This is a keyboard game. Uh, we're looking for cookie dough. Easy. Two scoops. Send it out. That looks pretty good, actually. Let's make sure to make a few more batches of pretzels. Oh, I'm getting it. Uh, dude, I'm getting my rhythm back already. This is becoming a much more familiar set of uh, skills again. Kiwi and Angel. Three and 20 months, respectively. Welcome back in. You can also call Whisk and Cleaver to help serve orders. Click on the sign below or press control to get them to auto-serve all orders that are ready. Oh, David, you know me so well. You, you know what gets that dopamine release. Oh, that's going to be a fun, fun button to hit. Hiya! <laughs> oh, hold on. We need a lot more pretzels, though. Classics. See ya! Oh, my goodness. That's so nice. That's so nice. Holy shit. Cops! Cheese it! Alright, it's on me now, I think. They're handing me the reins. Ooh, I love this already. I'm back in my zone. Uh, just cookie dough. A couple scoops, no problem. Prep this. Close it up. Praline. Okay. Two scoops. Got our pretzels all ready to go. Chocolate and rainbow sherbet is S. Four waffle clothes done. Love my waffle clothes. Uh, five. I got a five on there, or seven on there, man. This is going to be intense. Butter praline is different than normal praline, right? Sure is. All right, send them. Send them. Send them! Send them! Oops, I hit the wrong one. Damn it. Hang on. Need a lot more pretzels, too. Get this. Close. F3. A. German. Done. Hold on, folks. We're getting some more hot and fresh out of the oven here for you. Chocolate dip cone. Dip the cone. Mint chocolate. Two scoops. Send them out. Make them happy. How many folks can we possibly serve? This is madness. Gotta love that control button. That is so nice. Silver? I did make a mistake. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you very much. 32 months. Appreciate it. Are we being paid in Idaho potato skins? 
I'm not sure about that. I'd rather have money, maybe, but I don't know if we're living in a post-apocalypse. I suppose it's possible that currency has changed. Okay. I'll take it. Bear, please just throw a pretzel right in my face. Will do. Can't believe I got a silver medal on the fucking tutorial. I'm such a garbage player. Well, all right. Now if we go through Boise. Chill mode turns on infinite patience for customers and turns off food truck attacks. <laughs> right. Before we start the day, we'll need to fill out today's menu. I've analyzed our route and potential customers to select the best foods for the job. Select any slot to get started. Keep adding foods to your menu until you've filled out all the slots. Right-click any food for more info. Cool. We have a lot of food available already. That's nice. Glazed donut. Yo, we just had some donuts for breakfast this morning. Oh, look at how good it all already looks. Let's see. She seems to think that apparently, like, any of these will be good. Hmm... Well, why not start out with some donuts? Donuts, turkey legs, and kachapuri. I don't even know what this is. Sounds good. Add uh, SO food. SO, God, why can I not think of what this stands for? Standing order. Uh, Soviet officer. Uh, someone's otter. Single order. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Rice Krispie squares? Huh. Kimchi. Sure, why not? Kimchi, grilled cheese, and Rice Krispie squares. <laughs> That's a, such a weird menu. All right. Give it a go. It's so food. Oh, I get it. Okay. <clears throat> After a day is complete, all your funds will be transferred into Crumbcoin, the leading cryptocurrency for all food purchases. The amount of dollars it takes to buy one CC is noted in the exchange rate below your cash earn. Any funds left over after buying CC is automatically carried over to the next day. Cool. All right. All right let's get moving. Sounds good. I'm ready to just cruise along. I'm back in the chef's seat. Let's prep some food. Donuts. Easy enough. One, two, three, four. Dunk. All right. And two. We're going to need some kachapuri. So that's going to be B. Dough shape cheese. Easy. Marshmallows, crispy bits, and mix. Crispy bits. Love that. Turkey leg. We're going to need some more of those along with kachapuri. Uh, one, two, three, four. No problem. Another little bit of kachapuri. Dough shaped cheese. And then send that. Place the butter, then bread. Butter the top. Add the cheese. Bread, then butter. And cook. Okay. It's not too bad. I'm almost ready. Hold up. WCM for the crispy bits. WCM. I can remember that. Katsupuri doesn't really last that long, unfortunately. S N D W C H. Okay. Send them! Send them! Send them! Send them! Uh, one, two, three. Oh, oh, we're gonna need just the one turkey leg, apparently, and then five, also a turkey leg, and then we gotta prep some more turkey legs for ourselves. There we go. And another kachapuri. Dough shaped cheese. Nice. Number four. Send it. Cool. That's pretty good. Nice. And then we'll have some fresh stuff for next time. Let's go ahead and toss that. Uh, get another set of glazed donuts on board. Dunk them. Get this kimchi ready. Got the shoots in there. WS or WCM. Whoops. Shit. No, I fucked it. Ah, I didn't mix. Yeah, they're going to be just very upset with that order. Very upset with that order, I'm sure. Oh, no. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, we're just out of there, though. Oh, my God. Stop complete, baby. Not wasting any damn time. All right. S-N-D-W-C-H. S-N-D-W-C-H. Can I remember that? S-N-D-W-C-H. 
That's going to be a tough one to remember. Let's get this new one going here, too. Kachipuri. Get that. There we go. Can P, no problem. Oh, did you see perfect stop? That's pretty sweet. WCM. Done. Ooh, we're ready for this. Very ready for this. I make sure those are all the same order, I guess, too. I've been sort of just assuming they are. Oh, it's spelling sandwich. I didn't even realize that. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful. Alright, uh, turkey legs. C. Done. Uh, number six. Sandwich! Holy shit! It's brilliant! <laughs> I love that. Send them. More turkey. Uh, we got that. We got that. We got, uh, we gotta make some more of this scutchy DCSC, got that. None. Send it. And then more turkey. Gotta get more turkey. Gotta get more donuts, apparently. Actually, I don't need that at all. What am I doing? Uh, F2, dunk, and I guess shit. Uh, F4. Wait, we're making donuts. There we go. I don't know why they weren't doing that. I was making fresh donuts for them already. Why weren't they accepting those donuts? They want even fresher donuts. Ridiculous demands. Okay. Perfect stop. I think I missed one again. God damn it. Great job today, chef. I missed another one. Ah. This is that freaking Rice Krispie mix that I didn't mix. Level up. And I have 4 cc. Dude, that's got to be worth like 8 grand. Oh wait, no, hold on. That's got to be worth like 2 grand. All right, here we go. This menu has a three point requirement. We'll need to purchase some higher level foods. Buy and place at least three tier one foods on your menu. The number on the top right of each food indicates its tier. Okay, Andro Ally. Thank you very much for the 23 month streak. Welcome on back. The more a food costs, the harder it will be to make, but you'll also earn more money and experience. Tier two and up. Okay. It's gotta be a three point menu. Let's start with some bald eggs. <laughs> oh wait, boiled eggs. Eggs have been found throughout the ages to either be an essential part of a balanced diet or the leading cause of heart failure. One of the two. Sounds good, let's do that. Why can't I add it? Oh, I have to purchase it. How much does it cost? One cc. Yeah, I'll buy a boiled egg, sure. Add it to the menu. Let's see. Ooh, French toast. Let's make a breakfast place. That sounds good. That sounds real fun. Dango. Hanami Dango is a sea. I love that they've got the description of this food in here now for those of us like me who are ignorant to all these different foods. Hanami Dango is a seasonal variation of Hanami that is made to celebrate the flowering season of Sakura trees. Is this Dango or Dango? Since the floods of 2030 robbed these cherry blossoms of their native land, Hanami Dango exploded in popularity as it quickly became symbolic of the beautiful nature and history lost forever to the ocean. Neither. All right, cool. A deep oak... Oh, this is just fake, though. That's just made up. Not that it's irrelevant. I think I'll get that. That sounds like fun. Just so I can continue to mispronounce it. <laughs> uh, then we don't have to add uh, any further points, but we could for fun. No specialty donuts, dude. Let's see. Hmm. I did want to make a breakfast place. So why not serve a little bit of octopus? That's probably a good idea. No, hang on. Let's do the specialty donuts. There's so much food, I know, and this is only tier one so far. 
Since donuts up until that point were made with a simple glazed coating which made them almost white in appearance, Grant thought it fitting to mark the victory's ramifications by developing new types of donuts that celebrated the diversity of the free Americans through bright colored glazes and toppings. Is this true? Specialty donuts were invented in 1865 shortly after the Confederate Army surrendered to Ulysses S. Grant, who had been through through no, who had thorough knowledge of the history of many pastry treats, understood the significance of donuts in the creation of the United States, and wished to commemorate them along with the history historic reunification of the nation. This doesn't seem like a real thing. <laughs> Though seen as very controversial at the time, Grant would utilize his later status as president to mark the, market the creation across the nation and around. No, this is definitely not true. <laughs> That's fun, though. Uh, let's see. I'll probably just go ahead and throw a couple of level zeros on here now. I don't want to spend all my money right away. I got to save it up for the tier two stuff. So let's do our sandwich again. Since that was so fun. And uh, let's go with fucking crab legs for fun. Why not? Why not? Donuts lead to peace, Bear. You should know that. I, I don't doubt it. All the cash you earn in today also counts towards YUM, which stands for your universal mastery. By earning enough YUM, you will level up, which will earn you new parts for your food truck. Earn parts to add and upgrade components for your truck, such as more holding stations. Let's All right. Let's do. I'm down for that. Begin! Dango! Green, white, pink. Okay. That's fun. Uh, some bald eggs. Boiled and poached. Done. And then French toast. Just make a bunch of it. Cool. Easy enough. Sandwich! Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to make some more eggs. Just for fun. Oh, this music is already baller, dude. Love it. Donuts. Nummy. Reminds me of civilization, almost. French toast does sound good, doesn't it? It, al it almost always sounds good. I'm gonna say always, but not not always. Donut icing. Oh. <laughs> That was easy. <laughs> Thought it'd be a little more complex than that, but no, it's just icing. You know, that covers them all. See ya. See ya. Wait a minute. What do we got to do here? Oh, we got to put it on there. We got to prep all the dongo. Sugar, maple syrup, butter, and then, uh, you need it. Give it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, S M U. SMU, SMU, send it, send it, send it, send it. I need to make more dongo. Need more dongo. Hang on, y'all. We'll make more, I promise. I promise we'll have more. Holy shit, that's a lot of don uh, dongo. They all want dongo, and you gotta make every single one. I wonder if we're gonna have this again. This is terrible. That's actually not that hard. Solid. Perfect stop. Okay, make more dongo. Just have a bunch of that ready, I guess. More eggs. Okay, good. Do, 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 do. Big fan of this song. Icing ready. Send them. Okay, uh, GWP. GWP. Go. Uh, SMU. Got it. Good. Woo, baby. There we go. He's doing it. He's doing it. Them donuts are looking tasty, man. You had breakfast as the stream started, and now I'm just like, fuck, I'm hungry again. That's going to be the entire time we play this freaking game, man. Sandwich! That's so much easier now. I love that. Fresh French toast. Done deal. 
Almost dunked the wrong amount of donuts there. That would have been bad. More dongo. Crap legs with lemon. Done. Prepped up and ready. Eggs are good to go. Sand each. Done. Done. Fuck. We gotta make more. I'm not sure if I needed more of that actually shit. Alright, that should be fine. Oh, shit. I think I missed up the egg order. I'm not sure, though. We'll see. Yeah, I did. Fuck. That was the last order, dude. I gave her poached and she wanted boiled. Damn it. I keep messing up one order a day. Oh well. Still decent. Okay. Off we go. Perfect stop poached, yeah. Well that I believe will complete Chef University, I guess. Cast Fifty years! Hop in the well with Grandpa Bear. Yeah, I'm sure he's got plenty of space. Sweet. All right. Yeah, you can always go back for gold. Exactly. Let's head to Harmonica. Standard. This menu music makes me happy. Level two, man. Looking to hone its marketing efforts, in 1987, the International Oatmeal Association, who also produced Oatmeal's cut-rate alternative, Gruel, conducted a study to better understand who their key demographic was. To their surprise, they discovered Oatmeal was most popular in children's orphanages, second most popular in theatrical productions set in children's orphanages, and third most popular in films about the production of theatrical productions set in children's orphanages. Confused about what to do with this baffling information, the International Oatmeal Association ran a television campaign featuring child laborers enjoying oatmeal before heading off for a 14-hour day at the textile factory. The campaign caused outrage and was pulled from broadcast within a week of airing. Confused and embarrassed, the International Oatmeal Association vowed to never again advertise oatmeal. You gotta purchase that. How, how do you do without a little bit of oatmeal in your life before your 14-hour workday at the textile factory as an 8-year-old boy? Okay. How about falafel? Sounds good. Uh, we need one more point on the menu. Let's go for frozen banana. These are all great, man. Sorry I'm not reading it aloud, but this is good stuff. Uh, let's see. There's always money in the banana stand. Hmm. I've only got... Oh, no, I've got a bunch. I thought I had a limited amount of CC, but I'm doing okay. What are these called again? Crunchy credits? Captain Crunch coins? Cut coins. Why did I say that? <laughs> Crumb coin, that's right. Um... What's Kringle? Loosely based on a type of Nordic pretzel, the modern U.S. Kringle is made of a Danish pastry dough with nut, fruit, or other flavored fillings and topped with a sweet, sugary frosting. Ooh, that sounds good. Popularized by the production in the state of Wisconsin. I lived in Wisconsin. I never had a Kringle? Huh. Give that a go. And then, let's see. What's ceviche? 
A dish of raw fish cured in citrus juices and spiced with various seasonings must be eaten immediately after being prepared to reduce the risk of food poisoning. If any is left uneaten on your plate, a oh, ceviche, okay. Must be burned into ashes to reduce the risk of contaminating the air. What the fuck? The ashes must then be carefully gathered and sealed into an airtight container, preferably made of hard recyclable plastic to reduce the risk of them making an ashy mess. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ceviche. Yeah, okay, that sounds fun. Begin the day. All the, all the um, copy for the food is fantastic. I love it. Holding station required foods must be created in a holding station, otherwise they'll remain red and cannot be served. Once you have a food ready in the station, they'll turn blue and are ready for serving or may need additional prep. Okay. Oh, these are just standard tips, aren't they? I might just be cycling through them. Got it. Great day for cooking, chef. I can just continue on then, I guess. A great day for cooking indeed. Make some nanners. Nanners, nuts, door. Done. Takes up a lot of space in the truck, I imagine. Dunk the falafel. All right, our first ceviche. Celery. Oh, this is a little complex. Onions, shrimp, tomatoes mix. Okay. And there's different mixes, too, so you got to pay special attention to that. It's going to take me a little while to get used to this one. HTM seems to be a common ending point, though. GHTM, in fact. Avocado, mint flakes, GHTM. Okay. We're nearly there. Dough, not feeling roll of shape. I am actually almost ready. See how much oil or oatmeal we need. Avocado, mint flakes, GHTM. Okay. Good. Taking care of it, Chef. Nicing. Cinnamon, uh, cinnamon and cranberry. Okay, cinnamon. Uh... Cinnamon, and we need more falafel. Dunk. I'm gonna go a little slower with this one here. More oatmeal. More frozen bananas soon as well. I'm a little slow here, but I'm okay with that. Good. Got it. Must have made a bunch of uh, frozen bananas. Oh, it's fantastic so far, Zoo. I love it. Celery mints, onions. Okay, so that one does not have the peppers. Celery, mint, onion, shrimp, tomato mix. That one's not too bad. Uh, roll and shape. Toss those. Make some more uh, falafel. Mint. Oh, I think I still got it, but I did it in the wrong order. I hope that doesn't matter too much. It might. Send them. Celery, mint flakes, onions. Uh, there we go. On our shape. Uh, oatmeal. No, let's do falafels. More oatmeal. Okay. He's almost burned. My God. Good. Oh boy. Okay, good. Uh, we need more falafel and oatmeal. Send all them out. More bananas. Oh, that's gonna take a minute. Oh well. more oatmeal too. Okay. 
80 combo. Uh, more falafel. Oh my god, my brain breaks sometimes with this game, man. Put him in. Good. Good. Okay. And now it's just one lady waiting for us to make an entire batch of frozen bananas for her. Hold on. You'll, you'll get yours. You just wait. There you go. Perfect stop. 99 combo. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. All set. More falafels. Celery, mint, onion, shrimp, tomato mix. Good. Making a lot of those this time. B, mint. Good. Uh huh. More falafel. Falafel. And more bananas. More oatmeal. More falafel. Or bananas, I guess. Fine. That works too. I think we're good. I think we got it. Don't mess up these. Yo. There it is. Finally. Finally got it. We got two balloons. Gold medal. Wow. That's pretty darn impressive. 62 very happy people. Delicious bones. Very nice, very nice. We got whatever that is. Cool. Perfect day. Oh, that's a that's a good old dopamine rush right there, man. Yay. I like that song too. Ooh. Oh. Road closed. I gotta get another bronze. We need ten golds to go this way. Oh shit. Okay. Y'all didn't get the opportunity to, to see the message, but I, I just want you to know that uh, there's a warning that pops up when the game starts that says, this game uses an autosave feature. Do not quit the game while the pickle is gyrating. And there is a pickle in the corner of the screen that loads the game, or that gyrates when the game is loading. I just need everybody to be aware of that. All right. Anyway, looks like we can afford pretty much anything we want, so let's go for something crazy. Chicken sandwich? That's a staple. Driving through Buttermilk County, I'm sure they could use a good old-fashioned chicken sandwich. In 1914, moments before the United States was to enter the Great War, General McCarver made a startling discovery. The above-average amount of roast chicken consumed by troops resulted in oily fingers, causing them to continuously drop their weapons. Not wanting to give up roast chicken, the United States Army postpo postponed entering the war. The Army set to work, and in 1917, General McCarver announced that by encasing chicken in slices of bread, troops would be able to enjoy chicken without getting oily fingers. Not one for creativity, General McCarver named the sandwich with the chicken inside the Chicken Sandwich, and in April 1917, the United States entered the war. With, while three years late to the war effort, many historians cite the high protein content in chicken sandwiches as being paramount to America's military prowess.
fried fries, food truck fries. Description coming soon, early access. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else? What else? <laughs> and a refund. Yeah, no, come on. Just goofing. Uh, let's see. Turkey slices. That doesn't sound very exciting. Yeah, it's Yakitomo. Yakitomo, Yakitomo Koshi. It's a Japanese dish. Grilled corn on the cob. Coated with a glaze made of soy sauce. Marine. What is that? Mirin? I've never heard of that. Sugar and other seasonings. Though little is known about the exact origins of this dish, why well, I believe that either a Japanese person or a person residing in Japan had access to cobs of corn and wanted to spice up the dish before eating it themselves or serving it to others. And I don't know about that. That seems a little, a little, a little off. Well, made up. Kimiron. Mm -hmm. Sweet rice wine. Oh, cool. Interesting. Let's get some yakitomo. That was a fun one. And let's make muffins! Yay! Though the exact origin of the muffin is unknown, the name itself originates in France and first appeared in the early 18th century. At the time, muffins competed directly with cupcakes for complete domination of the booming small dessert pastry market, with the most legendary feud being from Axel Lalande and Jean-Marie Brousseau in 1717. The story goes that Jacques was quietly enjoying a cupcake out on his patio when, to his horror, he was suddenly bombarded with a hundred muffins from a pro-muffin pro baker named Jean-René Brousseau, who mistook Lalande for his brother Axel, the owner of Brousseau's rival pro-cupcake bakery. Upon realizing his heir, Brousseau fled the scene, leaving Jacques to succumb to his wounds. Little did Brousseau know Axel was just next door with the neighbor's wife and witnessed the whole thing. Exactly one year later, Brousseau was found dead, suffocated on a cupcake. After this horrifying crime, the townspeople came together in unity to end the bitter cupcake muffin feud, and in 1721 created the Muffin Proposition Act that relegated all muffin sales to breakfast and cupcake sales to lunch to try and balance out the market. It was a success, and the, mu and the muffin is still widely regarded as a breakfast item, even today. We're serving it for lunch, though. Wow. Hmm. Oh, but Ennis Foster. A renewal. Welcome back. Kyle Momo. Thank you very much for your two months on the pile. Welcome on back and appreciate it. Go ahead and add Bananas Foster on there. Samosas? Originally, originating as far back as the 10th century in the Middle East. <clears throat> Samosas are fried or baked pastries, pastries often filled with meat and vegetables. Samosas were considered so delicious that princes and nobles would typically purchase all the region's samosas for themselves, fearing that the common citizens wouldn't be able to fully appreciate their expert design and flavor. This tradition unfortunately backfired as common citizens weren't able to appreciate the design and flavor of samosas at all. Because of this, they became seen as a sign of immense power resulting in many chefs creating counterfeit samosas to be sold in the black market as credentials of authority rather than food. This trick worked at first as it was generally understood that anyone possessing of samosas must be important. However, the chefs eventually oversaturated the black market with samosas and their value declined. Upset that they could be no longer used to pass as royalty, commoners ate their samosas in fits of rage only to realize that their food or that their worth as a food more than made up for their drop in symbolic value. Sure. Sounds fun. Uh, and then we just need to add one more thing of any variety. Onigiri is a Japanese food. Is it jiri or giri? I'm sorry. I keep asking pronunciation clarification, but I want to know. Made with rice, wrapped in seaweed, and served with a variety of toppings. Originally, there were 151 different varieties. It's pronounced like gif. <laughs> onigiri, right? Onigiri. There were 151 different varieties of onigiri. Oh, hard G, as in gig or gird. Right, yeah, I got it. Okay. 
As time went on, more and more varieties were added. Many, however, felt the later varieties uh, lacked the creativity of first-generation onigiri. Some have countered this, noting that there was nothing creative about putting six eggs together and calling it onigiri. <laughs> Despite these debates, onigiri has only grown po in popularity and today is one of the most po profitable foods in the world. Cool. Okay. Sounds fun. Let's do it. Gotta eat them all. Good to see you, chef. CSD. Let's do it. All right, some chicken sandwiches to stir it up with. A couple chickens, a couple spices, dunk them up. B, fried fries, sweet potato, steak fries. Okay, no problem. F3 is muffins, paper liner, blueberry. Okay, number four, yakitomo, corn. No problem. Meat, dunk. Okay, that's it. Uh, butter, uh, USBR. USBR, I think, was the last one, too. Add rice ball. Imprint. Stuffing. Shape. Nori. Okay. No problem. Ready? We're nearly there. Uh, C green. Okay. Rishin. That's the word for onigiri. Rishin. R S U. R S U. What do I need? Uh, fries. French. Shoestring. Curly. Wavy. Done. Uh, and then, oh, I need muffins. See, uh, oh no! God damn. All right, hold on. We're going to restart this day. I've completely lost it. A great day for cooking, chef. That's going to be tougher. That's going to be a wee bit tougher. Because there's a lot of variety in the things that we can prep. The fries are going to be tough in particular. I'm going to have to think a lot about those. Shoestring, okay. There we go. Paper, blue, or no, bananas, A. Done. Bananas, B, R. Moriaki. SBR. Okay. It's gonna take a lot of focus. We're almost there. My apologies if I am bad at chat for the next little bit here. Because I am definitely going to be. And now more muffins. Good. Need more yaki soon. More sh uh, fries as well. French shoestring, curly and wavy. Good. More yaki. And then fries are almost out. Good. Okay, that was better. Much smoother. Got a better handle on things. I knew you could do it. Sandwiches seem to be a lot less common, so I don't know about making those, but I guess I should have at least some available. Okay. Potato. Six and seven are the hardest to get for sure. I don't have that kind of muscle memory built up to be able to reach over to those quickly. Okay, there we go. Tamarind. Serve it. Oh shit, here we go. Lettuce, bacon, tomato, pickles, top bun. Moriyaki. Uh, white. Taking care of it, chef. Okay. 
No, what? I did that right. Okay. Uh, good. Good. Chicken. Good. Spicy chicken. Pickles top bun. Got it. Need more. Yeah, that's going to take a sec. Uh, good. More yaki. Fries, French, shoestring, waffle. Good. Lettuce, bacon, tomato, pickles, top bun. Spicy chicken, pickles, top bun, good. I'm cooking those. Need muffins. Paper liner, blueberry, good. Chicken, pickles, top bun. I've missed this game too. It's so fun. Got it. So much more by way of chicken orders, man. So many more this time. Alright. Need more Yaki again. Good. Spicy lettuce, bacon, tomato pickle. Blah. And then I need to make more sandwiches. Good lord. I guess because it's lunchtime, that makes sense. That was a hell of a final section, man. A little tougher with those foods. A little bit more mentally taxing. Mm -hmm. Getting better at these, though. All right. Oh, that's not the last stop. Oh, my God. All right, well, let's get ready. More fries. Shoestring. Wavy. Good. Tandoori. Potato. Good. Good. Got it. Got it. See red. Done. Good. White. Done. Serve. Nice. Less bacon, tomato, pickle, that bun. Good. Got it. Red. Good. Chicken. Top bun, got it. More uh, chicken sandwiches. More yakitori, yakitomo. Okay, good. Got it. All right, we're working on that. Spicy chicken, uh, got it. Oh, jeez. My brain. My brain. My poor little brain. Chicken, pickle, top bun. Yep, good. Got it. I, I gotta make more. They just don't stop ordering Yakitomo. Yay! Okay. I think I made it. I think we got it. I think we're there. Oh shit, I have to do this now. Um, fuck. There we go. Woo, boy. Nearly missed her. Perfect stop complete. Ooh, man.
Yeah, I love the music. The music's so good in this game so far. Another day of one missed order, unfortunately. That's a bummer. It's been the story of the day so far. One angry face, yep. Can I get one angry face in chat, please? Rage! All right. No, no more mashing the trash so far. I don't know if that's going to be a thing anymore. It's been pretty much the food exclusively. Seems like the chores are no longer a uh, factor, but it's still early. It's possible that those just haven't been introduced yet. Let's go on the world tour. Why not? I have five foods of what appears to be really just any variety of what's listed here. Let's do pancakes. Breakfast pancakes were first invented in ancient Greece, though they were called tagonites and were made with wheat flour, olive oil, honey, and curdled, curdled milk. Despite their incredibly simple composition, many experts would now believe pancakes to be among the greatest of the ancient Greek inventions alongside philosophy, geometry, and alarm clocks. Though modern pancakes are often served with syrup, this practice was not widespread until the great syrup flood of January 14, 1919, an event which has gone by almost completely unheard of due to it being upstaged by the larger Great Molasses Flood a day later, during which a syrup manufacturer's entire plant erupted into a volcano of syrup, which then slowly traveled down the road to a breakfast diner at the bottom of the hill. First responders described the scene as tragic yet surprisingly delicious. Today, syrup is drizzled onto pancakes as a solemn memorial of the lives that were eventually lost by those who fell into the syrup while trying to retrieve their food. All right. Hmm. Moussaka. No description. I'll take it. I'll try it out. Hmm. Borscht. I'll do it. Steamed Momos Originating in Tibet and eventually spreading to neighboring countries, Momos are a steamed bun filled with vegetables, meat, and or, and or cheese similar to a dumpling. Historians believe that Momos were invented as a form of fast food, specifically in anticipation for the future internet age. Tibetan futurists saw the piece of, pace of society gradually increasing and predicted that by the year 2000, everyone would be too busy to sit down and have a proper meal. To prepare for the future, these futurists worked closely alongside chefs to craft a food that would not only be quickly and easily prepared, but also quickly eaten, with a minimal chance to make a mess on one's futuristic chrome-colored clothes that would no doubt be all the rage in the year 2000. Done. And then... What's Lao Lao? Sure. That's gonna be a weird day. You still got your chrome pants? I think everybody Hello, bought a pair in the year 2000, right? We all thought we were in the future. All right. Mosaka. Bread crumbs, ground meat, potatoes, eggplant, bechamel. Huh. Weird. Prep some pancakes. Dough, flattened, done. Oh, potato. Then wrap. Then done. Got it. Place two sets of banana leaves on the table, then the seasoned meat, then wrap. Whoa. That's an interesting thing. B M P E C. We are nearing the next stop. Mince meat, wrap. Cabbage, beets, bay leaf, garlic. This one's going to be slower, too, because I'm learning these ones, so FYI. Cabbage, carrots, beets, celery, tomato paste. Okay. On it, chef. More pancakes. Okay. I'm a because why not? Oops. No, that's not right. <laughs> it's just like, no, that's not how you make that. <laughs> More pancakes. Okay. 
MPC, good. And here we go. Whoa! Oh, they were not ready for that. I'm sorry. Or I wasn't ready for that, I guess. I didn't cook enough pancakes, man. I wasn't ready for breakfast. Shit. My bad. I had to make some individual orders there. Thanks for the encouragement. I did do pretty bad there. Cabbage, beets, bay leaf, garlic, tomato paste. Cabbage, beets. I might actually like this. Looking at the ingredients in borscht, I might actually enjoy it. Anybody had any borscht? There we go. Cabbage, beets, bay leaf, garlic, tomato paste. There we go. Had a lot in Prague, was very nice. Cool. That's neat. More pancakes. It's been a very common thing. And now we can make the side again. even more. It's like the only thing we could serve while they're there, I guess. That makes sense. Given how we set this up. Okay. Alright, they should all have sides. Thankfully. Oh god. Oh no. They're all gonna have to wait. Whoops. <laughs> Just chill here for a, for a few folks. We'll have some more pancakes in a second. I promise. I promise. We'll get some more whipped up. Oh, God. I accidentally made his own order. They've been waiting for a while. Selling like hotcakes, indeed. Good shit. gonna make a bunch of stuff. Bunch of pancakes. Okay. More masaka. That one's very easy to prep, thankfully. go. Let's get a fresh set. Order up. Potato wrap done. Oh boy. Good. I got three things of that cooking. That's not good. 
We only make three things of pancakes every time we make a set. That's really bad. Let's get rid of this. Holy shit, man. Okay. Okay. God damn, dude. More and more pancakes. Holy shit. Good job today. Keep it up tomorrow. Another one order missed. I'm, I'm consistent at least in missing one order per day. One rage face. I can count on that. No, it's not random foods every time. We're putting together our menu every time. In fact, in fact, I'm kind of making it harder on myself because I'm picking foods that I'm completely unfamiliar with and I'm doing for the first time, so... It could be easier. Alright, so this is still close. We'll have to move on. Although, if I went and got golds, it would certainly put us a lot closer. Alright, anyway... Three-point menu for the summertime buffet. Let's do it. Love this music, man. Green papaya salad. Eh, I'm not a big salad guy. This food is an extremely simplified version of the pasta dish with minimal ingredients and holding station support. Oh, okay. Rudimentary evidence shows that pasta may have existed in Italy in a primitive form as far back as the first century. However, more solid evidence for pasta does not appear until the 13th century when an explorer named Antonio Russo noted in his journals that pasta was not actually exclusive to Italy. In his journal, Russo notes that many different cultures have created their own versions of pasta, such as the Russian version, which mostly consists of ice and raw fish, the French version, which typically includes pastries and chocolate, and the German version, which is made of bratwurst and is commonly served with stoicism. Although some food connoisseurs argue that none of these variations can be considered pasta, historians insist that they are forced to define pasta by the first written accounts. Add to the menu. Puff Puff! A traditional West African snack, Puff Puffs are fried balls of dough similar to a donut. Often enjoyed for breakfast with coffee, Puff Puffs were originally simplified call simply called Puffs until their popularity spread to urban regions where the name caused confusion for being identical to a certain then-popular strain of illicit stimulant. Ah. While well-meaning bakery patrons were thrown out for seemingly asking if the establishment sold any illegal substances, many addicts found themselves inadvertently purchasing large quantities of back-alley fried dough balls. While this led to a surge in popularity for the sweet snack, the second puff was officially added to the name in 1978 to avoid further confusion. You got Puff Puff? <laughs> I need my Puff fix, man. Give me them fried pastry balls. Pizza, as it is known today, originated in Naples, Italy in the 18th or 19th century. The flatbread was often topped with ingredients intended to make it less taste less bland long before then. These creations lacked tomatoes due to their origin in the northwestern region of South America. Explorers of the New World were so delighted and confused by the vegetable-fruit hybrid upon first discovery that they immediately imported tomatoes to Europe for further examination. When the tomato was finally brought to Italy, a mustached Naples baker in a tall white hat was so enraged by a debate with a customer as to whether or not the tomato was either a fruit or a vegetable that he crushed one in his fist. Fortunately, the tomato juices flowed down his hand onto a nearby snack of flatbread with garlic, cheese, and basil on top, thus accidentally creating the world's first modern pizza. Cassif. Mmm, six-month-old pizza. After tasting the creation, he immediately began selling them by the pie at an exorbitant cost. His wife would later on to go on to perfect pizzas by replacing the tomato juice with her own invention of tomato sauce, noting it's just like my husband to discover something only halfway and be content with it. She then divorced him and began selling pizza by the slice, which some historians claim to be the world's first microtransaction. Ha. Pizza by the slice. Halo, Halo. 
a popular Filipino dessert. Halo Halo was famous, famously featured as the penultimate Iron Cook challenge before the competition was canceled in 2025. The challenge was especially memorable for con confounding the contestants who had never seen or heard of Halo Halo before. As a result, none of them were able to replicate the recipe to the satisfaction of the judges. While the final challenge was rumored to be even more confusing, the event never came to pass on account of the sudden breakout of war. Right. Hollow, hollow. Okay, yeah, I figured. I just wanted it to be Halo, Halo for my for my own sake. Hollow, hollow. All right. Uh oh, Boba. Yeah, let's do Boba tea. Sure. And fresh fish. Originating all over the globe, it's highly likely that fish were among one of the first foods to be eaten by early humans. This is especially due to the preferred habitat, their preferred habitat being bodies of water and the coincidental need for humans to remain hydrated and fed in order to live. This fact has given rise to the common phrase spoken between survivalists, where there are fish, there is water, and where there is water, there is life, specifically fish. Fish are available in a variety of species in all shapes and sizes and are also eaten by a variety of species in all shapes and sizes. This has more recently led to many fish gathering together into schools in an attempt to educate themselves in proper defensive measures when being hunted by a hungry predator. This in turn has led to humans fashioning nets specifically designed to capture fish when they are otherwise preoccupied in school. Today, fish are often enjoyed with tartar sauce. Sweet. Please be responsible and do not play Cook Serve Delicious 3 on an empty stomach and stay fully hydrated between stops. If you start to feel dizzy, take a pizza break. This game cares about you. Hello, Chef. Good luck today. Thank you. Spaghetti! Spaghetti! Make spaghetti! Stuffed crust. Alfredo sauce. Cheese. Parmesan. Cook it up. Pizza's gonna be hard, dude. Puff Puffs, thankfully, I don't think are gonna be that tough. Hand tossed, red sauce, cheese, ham, pineapple. Okay. Boba. Bobas, ice, honeydew. Honeydew? Ew. Who the fuck is eating that? Slash drinking that. Ube jam, maca balls, mock. What is that? Banana, ube ice cream, and cheese. Interesting. Boba's, ice, coconut, seal. Okay. Oh, macadamia. That, that makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think about that. What's wrong with honeydew? It's the worst of the fruits. Literally the worst of them. Spaghetti, meatball, parmesan. Parmigiano. Uh, how do you serve the puff puffs? Oh, with sugar. That makes sense. Sugar and chocolate. Ooh, yummy. Okay, send them. Um, honey, good. More spaghetti. Have sugar with honey. Cool. Uh, let's make more spaghetti. And we got a decent amount of pizza. It's all gonna go bad soon, though. Not nearly enough people order pizza. Hopefully more people order pizza for lunch. Because I'm definitely gonna be making more for lunch. Oh, they're waiting for a while here, aren't they? Okay. Knock that out. I got plenty of spaghetti now. Hand-tossed pesto sauce. Cheese, anchovies. This is disgusting. Ew. Ew. Who the fuck is eating that? Ube jam, almonds, macadamia balls, mango, ube, crispies. Yum. Mahi mahi. Cut the head. Season. THB. That's a, that's a uh, traditional one. Okay. This is taking me a long time here. Hang on here. I gotta take a second. 
almond. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? On it, chef. Oh, God. Oh, I missed it. Fuck, that took so long. Damn, dude. I need more pizza. And more spaghetti. Alfredo, cheese, pepperoni, ground beef, chicken. Good. Puff? Got him? No! I lost it. Fuck. Man. This is tough to maintain. Okay. The music is so fittingly hectic here. Oh, I'm not gonna get this at all. Yeah, no chance. Oh, God. I didn't even make the right pizza. Okay, let's try this again. This is gone. Long gone. That's gonna be really hard. I have a very difficult menu. I might wanna make this easier, because this pizza's tart. Or, tart. Pizza's hard as hell. Uh, ground beef bacon. Okay, done. There wasn't near, or there wasn't nearly as much uh, pizza at the beginning, though. I got to remember. So let's make more, um, make more spaghetti. But wait a little bit on that. Snapper. Okay. There. Now we're good. Do 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 do. Mm-hmm. Tilapia. Good. Oh, it's fantastic, Ollie Dick. Providing the challenge I seek it is is phenomenal. I'm loving it. You ready for more puff puff real soon? Uh, garbanzo. Where the fuck is garbanzo? Banana, mango, ube, crispies. Okay, good. On it, chef. Uh, good. Sugar and strawberry, nice. Uh, sugar and honey. F2, B. Oh, shit. These pizzas, dude. Mushrooms, onions, olives, peppers, and tomatoes. This is nuts. This is nuts. Trying to maintain this is insane. Pizza is so hard, dude. So hard. Whew. Solid. Okay, we're gonna do. We're gonna wait on the pizza until like right before we get there. Mackerel. Oh, no, 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 no. Ube. Macadamia. Mango. Ube and cheese. Ube almonds. Kong. Ube crispies. Done. Good. Pizza time. Hand tossed. Queso, cheese, pepperoni, beef, chicken, bacon. Okay. Done. Snapper. Send it. Bluefin tuna. Send it. Ube Kong. Tapioca, mango, ube, crispies. Send. Mm hmm. Good. Send. Uh, we need more pizza. Hand tossed. Red sauce. Cheese. Ham. Pineapple. Good. Let's get more pasta. Good. Need more puff puffs. Good. Still making more pasta, make more pizza too. 
Hand tossed, queso, cheese, ham, parmesan. Good. All right. Nice. That was pretty good. Very good. That was the most delicious food I've seen. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. That's the good shit. Didn't even have any boba up to this point. Maybe that was helping me. All right. Clear that out. We're going to make a new set of spaghetti. Ube, pineapple, ube, cheese. Easy. New pizza, thin, pesto, cheese, parmesan, olives, spinach, and green peppers. Okay, done. Good. Nice. That was an easy one. Okay, off to the next stop. Uh, approaching already. Ube cheese leche. Uh, let's do another puff puff here, since I don't have any. Macadamia balls, Kong, Ube, and Krispies. Tilapia. Good. More pizza. Hantos queso, cheese, ham, and parm. Good. Ube, jackfruit, garbanzo, mango. Ube and Krispies, got it. Next approaching. We got some interesting foods here for sure, man. Yeah, some combinations that I would never think to do myself, but apparently are well-known delicacies. Mackerel, got it. Uh, chocolate, good. SMR, SMR. What? Oh, I did the wrong fucking thing. I know exactly what I did there. All right. Make another pizza. Pesto sauce, an easy one at least. It's ASMR, man, absolutely. <laughs> Need more spaghetti. They're all waiting on it. Perfect. All right, we're good. Ube is a nice purple. Yeah, no, I, I do like the color of ube. I don't know about the flavor of it, but I do. I like the color quite a bit. I feel like it was listening to you hit your groove in CSD that first convinced me you could rap. Because <laughs> I could hit my flow so well in this. <laughs> I, I can... Not bad. I, I'll take some bad. Uh, solace in that, I guess. Dropping mad orders, yo. Hell yeah. Elise! Oh, that's adorable. Our dog played fetch at the park for the first time. What was he playing fetch with? He's He's been coming out of his shell so much at the dog, dog park, you guys. Can I please get some bear chubs in chat? He is the best boy. He's the most adorable puppy there's ever been. He's having so much fun with his friends at the, bar, at the bog park at the dog park. Tempest Bob! It's been nine months. Welcome on back in. Appreciate it. At the dog bar. That'd be a fun place to hang out, dude. I go there every fucking day. The Pog Park. There we go. I like that. The Poggers Park. All right. What's on the menu today? Let's see. Hot dog. Well, the exact origins of the hot dog are unknown, as the loose concept of sausages and putting them inside of other foods appears all throughout written history. The Frankfurter, which is a uh, pork sausage very similar to a hot dog, originates in Frankfurt, Germany. 
We borrowed one of the squishy, squeaky face balls. Oh, that's so cute. He's such a good boy. Due to their close relation, Germany has subsequently taken credit for inventing the idea of a sausage. The phrase how the sausage is made was inspired by hot dogs as it refers to both seeing how something is created and not wanting to know all the details. Similarly, hot dogs are popularly served with a wide variety of garnishes intended to hide the taste of the unidentified meat that makes up 80 to 87% of its weight. Most agree that hot dogs are delicious when best served uh, with relish, mustard, and ignorance. Nice. All this copy is fantastic. Ribs. A popular cut of meat, usually consisting of the less meaty part of the chops and cooked as a slab rather than cut into individual ribs. Ribs are typically slow roasted or grilled for as long as 10 to 12 hours for maximum tenderness. After preparing, ribs are then typically torn apart by hand in a messy fashion so as to remind the eater of their humble origins as hunter-gatherers who had not yet invented silverware, which is why they are typically served with wet naps. Competitions are often held to see who can eat ribs the sloppiest, with notable two-time winner Nick Quack from Australia managing to somehow get more barbecue sauce on himself than was originally present on the ribs he was given. He brought some from home. Oloshka, uh, okroshka. Okroshka is a cold soup full of fresh summer vegetables, making it ideal for hot summer days. In recent years, it has become especially popular as shifting global temperatures have, promoted a, have prompted a worldwide search for dishes that offer a refreshing, if temporary, reprieve from the sometimes unbearable heat. Yay! Global warming! Um... Seafood boil. Boiling assorted shellfish in a large pot of broth. Typically, vegetables like corn and potatoes are added. Seafood boils are most common amongst coastal regions of the United States and are often enjoyed to get together in special events. Scientists theorize the world's largest seafood boil will take place in 2254 after ocean, ocean temperatures rise to the point that they begin to boil. <laughs> Future humans are advised to come prepared with potatoes, corn on the cob, and extreme heat-resistant clothing to maximize enjoyment for the once-in-a-lifetime event. Fantastic. Bunny chow? No, that's terrible. Hmm. I'm going to add something a little easier. What's tonkatsu? No description. All right. Let's try that out. And pavlova. Pavlova is a meringue dessert topped with whipped cream and typically garnished with strawberries and kiwi fruit. In Australia and New Zealand, the pav is the Christmas staple, along with playing cr cricket in the backyard, swimming in the pool, and eating prawns that have been sitting in the sun for a little too long. The nationality of its creation remains contentious. New Zealand points to the fact that a recipe for pavlova cake appeared in the country in the late 1920s, while Australia points to the fact that it is bigger and scarier, scarier than New Zealand, and that it will come over there if New Zealand doesn't cut it out. <laughs> okay. Let's begin. Let's go. Fully charged and ready to go. Yeah, where's the classic lasagna? We need that PSMR. Or PSCR. How do I even not remember the combination? Rass for ribs. Radish. Beef. Chicken. Cucumber. Egg. Potatoes. Just all of it? No, not all of it. Not quite all of it. Seafood. Red crab. Corn. Crawfish. Uh, oyster potato sausage. Opa! Opa! Hot dogs? Wieners! Throw them on there. Pork and dunk. Alright, cool. Fuck lasagna, it always ruined my perfect days. Lasagna is my staple. Lasagna is my bread and butter. If it were made of pasta. Rang. That's easy enough. Alright, pork, cucumber, lettuce, tomato. Easy. Okay. That's pretty simple. PSCR, PSCR, right, yeah. Whip fruit mix. That looks pretty good. Goodbye, everything. Goodbye, everything. Goodbye, everything. There we go. All right, now we need to prep up some okroska. Right? What, what do we have on the holding station? I can't quite tell. Radish, beef, chicken, cucumber, egg, taters... Yogurt broth. Got it. 
with sauce seasoning. Premium bun. Cheese. Pretzel bun. Forgot all these things about hot dogs. Pretzel bun. NMK. Got it. Cool. Easy That's enough. Delicious. Hell yeah, it is. It's going to be easier for me to just keep the things lined up with the uh, with the one that they are in the holding station. One, two, three, four, if that makes sense. So I'm going to try to do that. She said the thing. She said the words we like. All set. We are nearing the next stop. We sure are. Pult. Pult. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, what? No, I did the. Uh, I did that early. Fuck. What a bummer. Good. All right, I need the third one. This is a seafood blend. Blue corn crawfish opa. Premium MMK. Akroshka. Oh god, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Fuck. Missed one. Damn. Need the first. Seafood band, uh, corn, crawfish, opa. Good. Regular bun, uh, cheese with relish and ketchup. Got it. Premium bun with cheese. Send them. Send them. Good. Seafood blend, out the door. Go, go, go. That went well. I bet you'll do even better next time. I bet I will. Could have been. A lot better there. I think I missed like one or two. This menu, though, it's a bit of a challenge. Not as hard as the last one. There's some simple parts to it. The ribs are not that difficult, certainly. Okay. Uh, ribs are going out. Three whipped fruit. Got it. Uh, more ribs. Got it. Premium OMK, good. And then premium NMK, very nice. This is a pretty simple last part, I guess. That's nice. They're not all gonna be menacing. There we go. Oh, we got one more section after this too, okay. Let's make a fresh seafood blend here. Red crab, corn, crawfish, opa! Dogs. So happy you don't have to clean the toilets anymore. Yeah, those days are behind us, thankfully. No more mashing the trash, though. The, the old traditions do have to die along with it, unfortunately. This version of the game, I think, is probably the optimal version, though, if I'm being honest, of what I've played so far. I am just thrilled. This is so great. I let the peons do that. We got robots to do that now, yeah. Send them. Send them. Send them. Oh, God, I burned it. Oh, no, I sent the wrong thing out again. Fuck. Wow, that was real bad. Okay, well, we're hurting here. Cucumber, egg, potatoes. Oh, God. Got it. Woo! Got it, dude. Damn. Damn. Okay, send them. Woo, shit!
Missed a few there. That was a worse one. Still a silver, at least, though. Cook, sir. Okay. Shut up! <laughs> Wasn't that bad. Components earned again. Yay. You can now upgrade your food truck with the parts you get every time you level up. Go to the upgrades menu now and upgrade away. All right. Upgrade truck. At a prep station, having additional prep stations allows you to serve more customers faster and take in more special orders before stops, but can also make the game more difficult if you invest in too many prep stations at once. Well, I guess that's the only thing we can do, so we might as well do it. Okay. Extra holding station, having more allows you to prep more food, making it easier to handle, handle multiple orders at once. Do the upgrade. Heat lamps. Another prep station. Another prep station, holding station, prep station, holding station. Cooking time regulator. Food's now staying a perfect cook phase for longer. Now take twice as long to burn up. Cool. That's neat. This feature will be added to the game in a future update. Neat. You have the whole food catalog too. Okay. Let's get through this five point menu. Do, do, do. Can I buy a lamp? Oh, I do still have points, don't I? Yeah, I don't know why I thought I didn't. Sweet. I'll go ahead and get the extra prep station, too. Cool. Now we have two more. Let's see how that goes. Hmm, let's see. Frog stud. Thank you for the 29 months on the pile. Welcome on back in. So let's not intentionally make this any more difficult than it has to be. Let's make a slightly easier menu this time, since it only has to be a five-point menu. See if I can't grab myself a gold medal. Uh, let's go with Sopapias. Originally invented by Juan Manuel Yasser, a young entrepreneur with nothing to his name except for knowledge of Mexican cuisine, a dream, and a commercial deep fryer. Do it. You want to get some more bald eggs in there? Let's do some more bald eggs. That's not too bad. So we three more points. Tendies. You want to do some chicken tenders? There's not going to be all that interesting. It's just pretty much dunk them and go. Hmm. Prime rib on here. Poutine. A Quebecois. Quebecois. I don't know how the fuck to say that word. Made of french fries topped with gravy and cheese curds. I'm not going to read anymore. I'm sorry. I've exhausted my reading capabilities for the day. Poutine. Add it on. Beef Wellington. Oh, my God. We should just do this for shits and gigs. Hang on. I'm going to practice it real quick. Pastry. Deluxe mix, beef, wrap, score, and cut. And then butter and salt. Pastry. That's pretty intense. Oh, and you can see they cook for different times. So the medium one's going to cook a lot less than the well done and you can see that timer goes real quick on it too and you burn it really fast the well done one takes a long long time this one's going to be blue rare so it's going to touch the it's going to touch the stove top and then they're going to take it off now it's done <laughs> blue rare that is never the kind of meat I'm going to eat I could try that I guess but I don't know. I feel like I'm doing myself to to failure that way. Hmm. Let's do... Hey, Trace Leches. I bet this isn't too bad. Vanilla. Cook it. Chocolate. Cook it. 
Cook it. Cook it. Cook it. <laughs> Whoops. So then you poke holes, milk, whip. That's all you do there. That's not too bad. It takes a long time to cook it. So if you get the right one, you just poke holes, add milk. Got to make sure it's the correct kind. And whip. Eh, I mean, it's not that interesting, but sure. Why not? And then let's go ahead and do the Kringle again. Gelato. Eh, no. Ooh, filet mignon. I think all this is, is you just oil it and put it on. And it's going to be another one where you just have to pay attention to how long they want to cook for. Which is easy. Sauce and chives. Ooh, classic filet mignon. All right, so there is a little bit of prep work after the fact. That's not too bad. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? All right, cool. That's a good looking menu. It's a completely ridiculous menu is what it is, but it's it's going to serve my needs today. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 right, dum, bum, bum. Show me what you got. Let's do it. Five prep stations now. Sopa pias. Boiled eggs. More poutine. More sopa pias. See how this goes. I don't know how long those things can last up there in the prep station. Probably not all that long. But we're we're set to go, man. It's gonna cook for a very short time, and then sauce and foie gras. Cook those fresh. Those fresh. There we go. Okay, good stuff. Vanilla bean in there. Good go. Uh, cooking up all the holding station things right now, so we'll be ready in a moment. Sugar and honey. Sugar and honey. Sugar and honey. Gravy and curds. Boiled eggs. Uh, eight, sugar and honey. Nine is cooking. Brown gravy and curds, good. Serve the trace leches. Milk and whip, got it. More poutine. Got it. Got it. Pretty good. Pretty good result there. Thank you. Oh, CSD3 is everything I wanted it to be, baby. It's all that and more. Got it. Mm-hmm. Only one bacon mignon. Roll it up. Sauce of foie gras. Chocolates. Gonna have to make some more poutine. Poutine, Trace, Chocolate Whip, got it, oh, I fucked that up, damn it, okay, oh, not again, god damn it, man, keep hitting the wrong thing. Oh, God. No, I got that one. Okay, good. Eggs again. Oh, uh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, I don't have supper peas. Got it.
Holy shit. Okay. Uh, eight. Six. One. Good. Oh god. I dunked their own set. And no mash in the trash this time, but you still got a few other things to handle. Jeez. A little, little off there. A little bit off. All right. That's a nice cooking, chef. Thank you. Could have been better. All right, man. Pay very close attention to what I'm hitting on the top bar here. One through nine. Medium. We're very close already here. Chives, good, done. Poke, milk, whip. Poke, milk, whip. Uh, that's gone. Let's go ahead and serve more sopias. All we need is the eggs here, actually. So once those are out, we're good. Perfect stop. This is an actively policed area that we've constantly been driving through. <laughs> Chocolate. More poutine. Freshen them up. Freshen up the sopa pias. Blue rare. That's going to be on there for a second and a half. Yeah, the music's top notch, too. It's so good. Sauce, chives. Poke, milk, whip. Vanilla. Poke, milk, whip. Vanilla. Here we go. Sounds like we're getting into a boss fight here, man. Rare. Okay. Sauce, foie gras, got it. Poke, milk, whip, got it. Eggs, good. Fuck. That's not what I wanted. Fuck. Damn it. Good. Got it. Cool. Good. Good. All right, we did it. They're freaking out, man. Ready for the food. Woo! Not a perfect stop, but no perfect day, sadly. Missed a couple, I think. Not bad. All silvers, man. Getting a little tougher. I could probably do that. Uh, like, I can go back and get golds on these for sure, but I'm having more fun just exploring what the new foods are and stuff. Okay. That's that. Five point menu. Easy street. Wait, what is this? Oh, Blanc Mange. How do I... There we go. I wanted to get info about this. British dessert with a name derived from old French words meaning white food. It's just that. Sure, there's technically more words that could be used to describe it in its long storied history dating back as far as medieval Europe, but really the name says all that needs to be said about it. It's white and it's food. 
You can eat it or you can admire its lack of color until it begins to go bad, after which it will no longer be white food as much as it will be a disgusting pile of mold. Great. Sounds lovely. Hmm. Kima. An Indian variation of ground meat made with ghee, onions, garlic, ginger, chilies, and spices. Used in a variety of dishes, keema has slowly but surely made its way into American cuisine as a direct result of famous Indian chef Rahul Patel's popular cooking show. Okay. Let's practice this for a sec. Oh, it's a holding station food. You just put the meats on there? And then what do you do? Oh, okay. MCJ. Well, that's just easy. That's just way too easy. But let's do it. It's different. Hmm. Rot Grutz. It's probably not even close. A popular European dessert made with berries, sugar, and served either hot or cold with milk. Often recognized as a solely German dessert, it has Danish roots. Historians argue that Danish government, irritated by Germany consistently taking credit for their ideas, held a contest to create an unstealable invention. The country set to work, and six weeks later, Jatza Ostergaard unveiled the Rolgrold, a delicious dessert that featured colors resembling the flag of Denmark and a name so outrageously Danish that Germans would find it impossible to pronounce. True that. I'm not even German. Germany, furious that they could only properly pronounce this word underwater, simply rebranded the re recipe as Rotgrutz, a w word that I can't pronounce, and once again claimed it as their own. Embarrassed that their unstealable invention wasn't quite so unstealable, Denmark sentenced Ajatza Ostergaard to a lifetime of hard berry-picking labor. Today, both Germany and Denmark claim ownership of the dessert. How do we make this sucker? Holding station. Raspberry, close the door. That's it. Hang on. Wait for it. Wait for it. We pronounce it wrong as a joke. What? Dude, that's so easy. How's that a two point item? That's insane. Easiest five point menu of all time. Done deal. Put Bananas Foster on there. Let's do cookies. Biscuits. Famous for being delicious in their raw form and resulting in cookie dough being served in ice cream, flavored soda, and even in a giant bowl by itself. Done. And fruit salad. How tough is this one? Grapes, cantaloupe, apples, tangerines. Oh, dude, this is easy. When, when the ingredients are all uh, assigned to the first letter of the name of the ingredient, dude, that, that shit. Simple as hell. Because all you got to do then is re recognize that that's the case. Look down here. You don't even need to look over at the ingredients. You just see GCAT, and then you're done. G, or sorry. No, that one's wrong, obviously. GCAT. CTSK. Got it wrong again. GCAT. GCAT. CTSK. There we go. CTSK. Oh, this is gonna be so simple. Yeah, that's 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 money. Money in the bank. Dude, this day if this isn't a gold, I'm gonna be ashamed of myself. This is simple. You do the cooking, I'll do the driving. Will do. Blanc mange. Cornstarch, almond, sugar, whipped cream, milk, and mix. No problem. Prepare some peanut butter cookies. Okay. G A S K. Chocolate chip. Good. Uh, let's pre prep some kima. A little bit of bananas foster. USBR done. Chocolate chip cookies. G A S K. Done. Oh boy, we're getting a lot of stuff on the board already. And ESPR done. Got it. 
currants and close the door. Okay. Uh, oatmeal. Done. Now, another one of rote. Blueberry. Close the door. Done. Uh, six. Meat. Oh, this is right, yeah. MSJ, or MCJ. Uh, nine. MCJ, got it. Send. Oatmeal. Let's make some more. Cinnamon. Done. MCJ. Got it. Uh, shit. Shit. Got it in the holding station. Cinnamon. Cinnamon almonds. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Send. Cinnamon. Good. Wrote. Raspberry. Close the door. Send them all. I got you! I got you on the thing! You can't leave! I think you already left. Fuck. Fuck. I missed that one, too. Cornstarch, almonds, sugar, whip, milk, mix. Fuck! 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 Holy shit, there's so much. Wow! Blueberry, close. Kima, meat, meat, on, go. Remember how confident I was? Remember I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be easy money. Good lord. Hmm. Okay. Wow. That was hard. There's a lot going on. Everybody wants cinnamon on their oatmeal. Nobody can eat oatmeal without cinnamon, apparently. I think this mix might be the same every time, so that's gonna be, or that's gonna make that a little easier. Okay. Fresh quinoa meat. Probably need more rote. Do 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 do. Hmm. We're getting this going. Oh yeah, the usual overconfidence. You know it. Okay. Already, this is insane. Currents, closed door. Kima, closed door. Fuck. What? Okay. Well, that's just immediately made, I just realized. Oh. Okay, holy shit. Holy shit. No perfect stops. That's the whole thing? Okay. Thought there was one more stop there. Oh, that's certainly not my best performance. I'll get the hearts up, chat. Dang, Geasling. Thanks for the raid, dude. Welcome, Raiders. Hello. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Bear hugs. All the love. Twitch.tv slash Dan Geasling. Thanks for the raid, dude. Appreciate it. You'll be proud of Dan. What did Dan do? What did Dan did done? What game is this? This is Cook, Serve, Delicious 3. The third in a series of fantastic... Uh, cooking simulation games released by David Galindo, aka Chubbigans, is real, real good so far. I have been a big fan of Cook Sir Delicious 3 for what we've experienced today. I am so excited about it. It's the, uh, I think it's like the definitive Cook Sir Delicious. It's taken out the, the fat 
Let's cut the fat and, and brought it down into the most enjoyable experience that this game has to offer, and I am so in favor of it. You learned to bomb the shopkeeper, Dan. That's good shit, dude. That's next level Spelunky gameplay right there. That's going to get you into the top echelon, dude. Where's my lasagna? That's what we need to find out. Absolutely. We get we have not been able Oh, hold on. Goddamn right they ain't. Woo! Da, 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 da. In game music, yes, sir. All right. How are we going to put together the menu today? Five points needed. Hmm. Sharp cheddar. What are they looking for? Chimichangas? One source indicates that the chimichanga was invented in America in 1922 when a Mexican immigrant woman accidentally dropped her burrito in a deep fryer that happened to be laying around and started to under a Spanish curse that began with chi, but then stopped when she realized the importance of the moment and instead exclaimed chimichanga, which is the Spanish equivalent for thingamajig. Experts point out that the origin is too good to be true. How could she have instinctively known the burrito was edible and should be named when it was still in the fryer? And why didn't she market her supposed invention? Things just ain't the same. Just not the same anymore. Chimichanga, red sauce. Ooh, they're helping us out a little bit with the um, with the lettering again here. I think this could be pretty easy actually if you just had to do chimichanga. Oh, that's just an old desert chimichanga right there. But then if you go green, it, yeah, it's GRQ for green, red, and queso. And then guac is just U, which is easy enough. Yeah, we can do this. That's a doable one. That might get a little hectic, and you can't make that many, actually, so, eh, you know what, maybe not. I'm kind of thinking against it. I'm gonna go with pancakes. Let's do... Hmm. Coke sisters are real hard to make. I'm sure that's not how you say that, but it might be how you say that. A sticky sweet pastry made of fried dough. The Coke Sister is a South African treat, not to be mistaken for the version that was appropriated by the Dutch. They feature a golden crunchy crust in a liquid syrup center, unlike the rock-hard over-sugar Dutch version. While the word comes from the Dutch word Coke, meaning cake, that is the extent to which the Dutch people or culture should ever be spoken of in relation to the Coke Sister. Anyone caught with a Dutch Coke Sister is to be reported to the U.S. Bureau of Food Misconduct immediately in accordance with the Food Dignity Act of 2038. It's pronounced cook. Kook? Like the oo in spook? So it'd be like Kook Sisters? Is that closer? Let's see how to make this thing. Holding station. Dunk them. Do, do, do. This song is so damn pleasant, man. The menu has just made me happy. Oh, that's so easy! Same. And things just ain't the same anymore. And this time. 
Yeah, this is really easy. Oh shit, whoops, I hit the wrong button. Yeah, that's insanely easy. No wonder it's a zero. Apparently not true to life. Someone in chat said that these are really hard to make. Well, I don't really want to add a zero. Hmm. Let's do puff puffs again. Pancakes, puff puffs. Let's do french fries. I'll do pizza, sure, fuck it. And then we can do some zeros to make it easier on myself. We can do Tokatsu again. And let's do Buddha Kimchi. And then... Well, fresh fish is pretty easy. We can do fish. Damn, this is a 13-point menu. No, they can go up to five. I think they might even go up to six. Shaggy Jackal! Thanks for 32 months on Tier 2, buddy. Appreciate it very much. Welcome on back in. Thank you for the bear hugs. Five might be the highest. Yeah, I'm kind of just speculating that there might be a six. I just want there to be something that's just ridiculous. Sushi might be a six. Sushi was always insanely hard. Now, what was the other one? Um, I think it was another Japanese food. In two, that was so hard. I can't remember what it was. There was a very difficult one, too. All right, let's get moving. Might have been ramen, yeah. Shoestring and wavy. Dunk him. Pizza is going to be a big thing today, but it probably won't be too big until lunchtime. So we'll make one pizza, and then we'll worry about pizza a little later. In fact, pancakes, we're going to let make a lot more of. Whole bunch of pancakes. And apparently everybody wants kimchi. Which is easy enough. Ready? We're nearly there. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty much ready. Good to go. Yep. Boxed up and out of here. Send them. Okay. Pancake blueberry. Pancake blueberry. Pancake pecan. Pancake blueberry. Easy. Pancake strawberry. Send more pancakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, send. Fuck. Uh, more shit. Ah, uh, fuck. Got him. Uh, gotta dunk their own puff puffs. Okay, and then... Good. Got it. Got it. Gotta make more. Got it. Chocolates. Oh, God. No! I just missed it, dude. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Okay. Good. Oh, look at all them fries go. Holy shit. Hand tossed, red sauce, cheese, sausage, ground beef, parm, peppers, tomatoes, good. Wow, that was a lot of orders. Holy shit. That was an intense start. Now, I have a feeling the pizza is going to be a lot more common for the middle part. So, I'm going to prep a couple of those. You know, the veggie lovers, I guess. Okay. Snapper. Make more pancakes. 
Make more puff puffs. Good. All right, we're almost here. I did not mean to do that. I'm going to need more of everything soon. Pancakes especially. Puff puffs. Oh no. Oh god. I'm out of fries. Uh, sweet potato, curly, waffle, and wavy. Got it. Woo. That was way bad. Fuck. This is awful. Man. So many pancakes, dude. So many fucking pancakes. Why do they all want pancakes? Why can't you order something else? Jesus. Route complete. That was insane. Oh. Okay. Good job today. Keep it up tomorrow. Oh, I only missed three. I thought I did way worse than that. That's pretty good. Imagine half of them wanting pizza. I know, right? It would be interesting if you could see like a breakdown of what food was ordered per day. Oh, you make more for the higher rank stuff, of course, yeah. Cool. Silver is good enough, yeah. Can't be too upset. Need 12 golds to unlock this. Hmm. Let's just keep going. Five point menu with the world tour. Let's see. Let's switch it up a little bit today. Let's go with. Hmm. Tabole? Originating in the mountains of Syria and Lebanon, tabole is a vegetarian dish that has grown in popularity in Western cultures since the 1950s. Originally, locals in the region who had grown accustomed to meat-based meals rejected tabole and mocked it due to its lack of meat. A tabouli? Okay. To, to turn around public opinion on the dish, the creators of tabouli formed secret trade deals that set up strategic trade blockades in order to prevent the, the importation of rival meat-based foods. Due to the blockade, locals were forced to eat nothing but tabbouli. Fortunately, the locals grew to love the dish upon realizing that the flavor and health benefits were significantly better than originally expected. Holding station. Couscous. Tomatoes. Cauliflower. Cut parsley. All right. So once it's prepped, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's not too bad. It's a little complex with the ingredients list here. Very easy to serve, though. We can try that out. Sure. Pig's blood... Pig's blood cake. Let's just do it. I'm just sight unseen without any, even a description. Let's just do it. Fish. While seafood baskets have existed for centuries, they've best known for their, they're best known for their role in the International Space Station. After spending extended periods of time aboard the space station... Numerous astronauts from a multitude of backgrounds complained that the lack of seafood was making them feel homesick. After several space organizations denied the request for seafood, noting ro rogue floating fish could damage the station's equipment, the astronauts took matters into their own hands. It was only after several failed experiments did British astronaut Clive Bristol suggest serving seafood in a basket, allowing astronauts to safely enjoy fish and use it as a bait if the crew were to encounter space whales. Since then, fried fish baskets have been enjoyed th the world over, as a way of congratulating humanity's continued ingenuity and love of fried things. S -s 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 Space whales? No. That's very easy. Okay. Go ahead and pick that up. 
Ah, oh, we'll do Dongo again. That was easy. And let's see. We need one more point on the board here. Zrasi! No description. Let's practice it. See how this goes. Meat, flatten, potato mix, roll, bread. Meat, flatten, potato, roll, bread. Meat, flatten, potato, roll, bread. Meat, flatten, oh. ham and onion mix, roll, bread. That's pretty easy. We can do that. Okay. Now we can do anything we want. So I'll do... Let's see. I'm going to do Lao Lao again because that's pretty easy. Let's pants it. No description. Pancit? I don't know how to say that. Green beans, celery, oil, shrimp, chicken. Noodles. Green beans, celery, oil, shrimp, chicken. That's pretty easy. Yeah, we can do that. All right, cool. Done deal. Not quite, Lime Die. It's out next week in early access. I got hooked up with an early, early access version. Hello, Chef. Good luck today. Which I am so excited about. Here we go. The boule. Onions, cauliflower, and parsley. Okay, done deal. I wonder how long that lasts. So just instantly prepare those. Uh, fish. And let's do one more taboule. Because the prep, prep for that is obviously a harder part. Well, it might go bad before we get there. Easy enough. Probably gonna have to reprep those things up there. Meat, flatten, potato, roll bread. Ready? We're nearly there. Almost. Let me get some more tabbouleh. Tabbouleh. Onions, taters, garbanzo. There we go. Send them! Send them! Send them! More fish. Make more dongo. All right, this is going pretty good. Love this song, man. I am. I am the best chef ever. Thank you very much. Make it pretty easy when everything's just prepped and ready to serve out. You just huck shit at them. There we go. Beep -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Uh, we can probably toss that fish and make some more uh, dongo. Seems good. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to eat my dongos. I can't wait to serve you my dongos. Do, 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 do. Get this one fresh. We're almost there. Onions, cauliflower, uh, cut parsley. Done. Done, done, done. Meat flattened, taters, roll breaded. Meat flattened, mushroom, roll breaded. Oh, God, what do I need? What the fuck? There we go. Woo, shit! Nearly whiffed it, dude, but he saves the day at the end. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit, he's got it. Couscous, onions, tomatoes, garbanzo. There we go. Perfect stop. Clutch plays. 
Very nice. Yeah, very close again. You got most stuff ready. Oh, I served it early. No, fuck me. That's such a bummer, dude. I had the perfect day. Perfect day ruined just like that. Just like fucking that, man. Now do it again. Do it again, but not. Screwing it up this time. Big dummy. All you have to do is cook it longer, man. More dongo. Mm-hmm. It's kind of funny, because, like, obviously, making the mistake of just taking it off the burner too early is re remedied by putting it back on. But that's not an option in this game, unfortunately. No problem, chef. Okay. Uh, we need some fish. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I made the wrong one twice. That was tough. Oh well. Pretty decent still. This is going to need tabule, tabuli, onions, tomatoes, garbanzo, meat flattened mushroom, roll breaded, meat flattened mushroom, roll breaded, two sets, meat wrap. We're almost there. Meat flattened potato mix. Roll breaded. Okay, good. Good. Send them. Send them. Uh, blood. They're not waiting, dude. They are not waiting this time. Tabuli. Cucumber, mint, garbanzo. Got it. Nice. Num 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 num. That's so good. Num 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 num. Oh fuck. Taking care of it, chef. Got it. Good. Nice. Nice. The soundtrack's terrific, man. Day complete. All right, perfect stop again. Man. Nearly the perfect day there. Great job today, chef. Some good orders. This is not quite out. This will be out in early access next week on the 29th, I believe. Level up! Yay! Gyrating pickle. Okay. Quick look over here. I've got one upgrade point. So I could add another prep station. I think I will. I could also save this so that the hold st uh, holding station foods stay fresher longer. I think I'd actually prefer to have the additional prep station, though. 
So let's do that. The freshest. No requirement on this one. Let's do what you want. So, let's try this. Likely deriving from the Indian kebab, satay is a popular dish in Indonesia, where it is considered a delicacy and national dish. Many varieties uh, are available across its country of origin, and it's an especially popular street food on account of its relatively easy preparation and eating. Although bamboo skewers are also used for firmer meats, the most authentic version of satay uses skewers made from lidi, which is the midrib of the coconut palm frond. This tradition has become especially more common since the 2019 bamboo shortage, which increased demand for the coconut tree-based skewers, especially in cases where multiple are needed to support the meat. In response to this, Indonesian entrepreneurs began planting coconut trees en masse to keep up with the demand, exporting the excess coconuts to any nation that would take them. This, is excessive, this excessive supply initiated by traditional satay preparation is why 30% of all goods produced today are made up at least in part by coconut. That's a fact. That's a science fact. Cop. If you're prepping these with cops, you have to tell me. Well, that's easy enough. Sure. Babinka. No description. Lettuce, or no, banana leaves and batter. Huh. I wonder what those are. I'm gonna put cheese and coconut. Huh. Interesting dish. Sure. And then, let's see. Let's do, uh... Let's do jambalaya. How do you make this? Sausage, shrimp, peppers, rice, onions. That's all of it. Babinka? Oh, why do I have both of these? Shrimp. So if it doesn't have sausage, then it's just everything after shrimp. I think. And then the jazzy mix is everything. Okay. That's easy enough. Yeah, that's real simple. All right. Let's do that. Add that to the menu. Medovic! A sponge cake created in the 19th century by a young chef who sought to impress, uh, who sought to impress Empress Elizabeth Alexeyevna. While Elizabeth found honey disgusting, the chef was new in the kitchen and unaware of this fact, and the other kitchen help did, thought it would be amusing to not tell him. Fortunately, having not eaten honey in quite some time, Elizabeth failed to identify the featured ingredient in the young chef's cake and ate it with enthusiasm. She then took it upon herself to add the young chef to her growing list of affairs, much to his delight and the chagrin of the other kitchen help, who had to cover for him in the kitchen whenever he spent time with the empress. Learning from their error, they always cook things that people didn't like from that day forward. Perfect. Thank you. That's all we ever wanted. Place all the ingredients in order, then place the crumb topping layer. M-E-D-O-V-I-K-S. Medovix. That's great. You just spell it. <laughs> I love that, dude. That's so great. Okay, totally using that. Good. All right, and now let's do a little Steph Curry. See how that goes. Spell that cake, yes, sir. S L G H N K. W R S L G H N K. W R S L G H N K. It's the same order every time. W R S L G H N K. That's not too bad. I can do that. You hate it? Yeah, I mean, I don't love it, but I'll do it. Um. Uh, 
Uh, let's just do Onigiri and Pavlova again. That seems good. That's a fine menu. Mm -mm. Emotions, man. Good to see you, Chef. Thank you. Here we go. Sate. Cop. Babinka. Jambalaya. Uh, that is the shrimp one. The four Medovic. Medovic. Spell it out. And let's go ahead and make another sate since that's so few prepped in that amount. Or in that station. We got ten Medovics. That's good. Onigiri is Rishin. That's right. Still a little ways away. We might have to reprep that stuff. The bink is very easy to make, thankfully. Ready? We're nearly there. Yeah, almost there. Let's do Sate one more time. Those will be prepped. Let's do a bit Medovic. Make them fresh. Jambalaya. Okay. Alright, there we go. That was pretty easy. Do the satay again. Get one more badabladavetch left over. That was unbelievable. I am so proud of you. It is the side of a food truck. What made you think it wasn't? I'm so proud of you! You did so good! Honey, you're so you're so brave! Sweetheart. W R S L G H N K. 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 I can remember that. Okay. There they go. 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 All right. More. More. Sate. Uh, send everything. Two, six, Babinka. Got it. Good stuff. That was effective. More jambalaya. Good. Nice. Very good station. All right. It's looking good. I like this menu. There. Very close to the next station already. More babinka. I think that's gonna be good. Uh, more jambalaya, I think? No, it's more satay. Dude, we crushed this. Oh my god. Your Easy. Easy Let's money. Mm-hmm. W-R-S-L-G-H-N-K. Okay. Good. Taking care of it, chef. 
Jambalaya. Good. Uh, Babinka. It's good. Four satay. Nice. Oh my god. Uh, what is that? That's Babinka again. Oh, baby. That was a good one. That was awesome. That was so satisfying. One more. Here we go. And Jambalaya. Okay. We are nearing the next stop. Good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. to be more Medovich. Send them. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Woo, man! Close call, we got it. Another jambalaya. Shrimp, peppers, onions, good. We should be able to get them all. Seven. Yes, sir! He's done it. Wow, that's pretty darn impressive. He's done it. Yo, that's a phenomenal day, dude. I got one balloon, yeah. Yes. Yes. That's nice right there. Two out of 12. Yeah, we're on our way. <laughs> okay. Um, This will be, I think, the last one we do today, this seven-point menu here. So just want to let you all know ahead of time. But thank you so much for watching the first bit of Cook, Serve, Delicious 3. Obviously, I'm playing a bunch more of this, so come on back. Probably tomorrow even, but definitely Monday for a whole bunch more fun times with Cook, Serve, Delicious 3. This is going to be a ball, dude. I am looking forward to playing a whole bunch more of this. But uh, I will play one more here, of course, to conclude our day. We'll have to make this uh, an interesting menu, I think. It's got to hit seven points at least. Well, let's do some hamburgers, sure. An iconic symbol of American cuisine, culinary comprehension, and corpulence. The hamburger first appeared around the, the late 19th or early 20th century as a result of industrialization. 
Specifically, the newly created working middle class needed a food that could be mass-produced, affordable, and easily consumed outside of the home, and the hamburger deliciously met those needs. Hamburgers went out of vogue in the late 1990s due to the food's poor nutritional content. This changed in 2002, when hamburgers were eaten by astronauts aboard the International Space Station, restoring their appeal and place in the American culinary canon. Since then, hamburgers have gone through a number of trends, including the inverted burger, which features two meat patties with a layer of bread in the middle, the deconstructed burger consisting of burger ingredients mixed in a bowl, and the frosty burger comprising of meat and ice cream layered between two sugar cookies. What? Many purists, however, believe there is no substitute for a good old-fashioned meat patty on a sesame seed bun. Ew. Okay. Um, I like dongo. Let's do dongo again. And let's see about maybe like some menudo? Also known as pancita or mole de panza. Menudo is a traditional Mexican soup featuring a red chili pepper base and cow tripe broth. Due to the soup's complexity, it typically requires four to six cooks, leading to the tradition for menudo to be created by and for the whole family. This has in turn led to menudo becoming a popular dish for celebrating births, weddings, and other occasions for which the family gathers. However, after the Blue War made it difficult for families to gather together for long periods of time, menudo was now more often considered by, or most often prepared by single chefs working long hours in non-idyllic conditions, such as in the kitchen, kitchens of roaming food trucks that battle each other for road and cooking supremacy. As a result, the modern recipe has been modified to require fewer ingredients, hands, and causes for celebration, the latter of which are especially scarce. Menudo. Pig trotters. Guava peppers? I don't know what those peppers are. Uh, cumin, cilantro, beef tripe, and bay leaf. Wow. Is that just everything? I think that's just everything. You just dump everything in the pot. Delicious menudo. Yeah, it looks like it's the same every time. PGNUCBL. That's easy. Sure, let's do that. Okay. Guajillo? Guajillo? Guajillo peppers. Hmm. Still need two points. Hmm. I'm going to do some nugs. Chicken nuggets. And let's see, let's do, Trace Leches is pretty easy. Let's throw that on there. That meets our points requirement and then we can just have fun after that. Let's do filet mignon again. And then let's do something new after that. Maybe something a little easier. Oh wait, no, I've done that already apparently. I haven't done breakfast sandwiches yet. Oh, gelato. Invented by Bernardo Buontalenti. Tal Buontalenti. As an accomplished stage designer, architect, military engineer, and artist, Buontalenti was a true Renaissance man. This bode well for him as he was born when the Renaissance was in full swing and had already produced Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel ceiling, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, and Russo's Living Dirt. Inspired by these masterpieces, Buontalenti... Bu whatever. Retired of being a traditional artist and engineer and dreamed of developing a food that could be considered art itself. Fascinated by the process of freezing, he began to experiment with freezing meats and breads. Found that they became much more difficult to eat or taste as a result. He then froze things that were not typically considered foods, but was dis uh, disappointed to discover that frozen influenza yielded few repeat customers. Upon learning that the Grand Duke Cosimo the de Medici wanted him to organize a lavish feast to celebrate the Spanish deputation, he hastily froze a mixture of cream, milk, and sugar that he had flavored with lemon juice. Upon tasting it, the Grand Duke advised Buontalentin to not quit his day job and hired him to design his new villa, villa to keep him focused on his true talents. However, word of the gelato spread from the other attendees of the feast, and it continues to be enjoyed to this day. Kiwi. Just, just kiwi. Oh, they're just gelato flavors. They're just all gelato flavors. Okay. That's not too bad. I could probably do that. Yeah, let's try that out. Okay. Here we go. It's a slightly harder menu. Let's begin. All right, 
Chef. Show me what you got. You got all the holding stations already, man. Bongo real quick. Menudo as well. Hamburgers. I'm gonna do a few hamburgers actually. Mendo the warrior! Can I guess just get a sequence of nice in chat, please, for Mendo hitting that legendary fabled 69 month subscription mark? Nice. Thank you very much for that. The bear hugs as well. Welcome them on in. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, this is pretty simple so far, isn't it? Enjoy the calm before the storm, I suppose. We're nearly there. Yeah, almost. Hang on. Fresh nuggets. There we go. All right. Oil and bacon. We'll have those uh, nuggets soon. Onions, mushrooms. Oh, there's different kinds, maybe? Oh, God. Sauce. This is already bad. This is already really bad. Mushrooms. Egg. Uh, getting that served good. We gotta get another one. Menudo does not last long at all, does it? Huh. Didn't need nearly that many uh, burgers either, so maybe I should have two sets of Menudo available. That's probably a better idea. Okay. Uh, send it. Thank you. Yeah, only three servings of menudo per station. That's pretty rough. Okay. Here we go. Again, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a lot of fun to start with today, and I'm looking forward to so much more Cooks Are Delicious 3. It's going to be good. It's going to be good, baby. I only had 22 orders in that first one. Surprising. All right, we're pretty well set up here. Have this thing touch the top of the stove real quick for a blue rare cook. That's already good, absolutely, yes, sir. Oh, Marina. Hey, uh, good. Bacon, Swiss cheese. Oh, I don't remember these at all, man. Ah. Good. Uh-huh. Holy shit. Bacon, onions. Egg. Done. Good. Swiss and regular one. Got it. No, I just missed it, dude. I spammed the keys on the keyboard trying to get everything in that ingredient list. Catsters! 44 months on the pile. Thank you very much for the resubscription. Damn it, that menudo is tough. If I had done it in the right order, too, it would have been a lot quicker. If I hadn't spammed, it would have probably worked. Oh, well. Missed one. All right, again, the menudo is going to be a big thing. Rich coffee, huh? That's actually kind of a tasty idea. Get the dongo ready again. Fuck! Served it early. Damn it, dude. Uh, F3. 
free. Fuck, where is it? Manuo. Mushrooms and regular bun. Got it. All right. That one should have been a perfect, but messed it up. Nicely done, chef. Oh, well. Bacon. There we go. Probably get a fresh uh, menudo going. You nearly burn that. Holy shit. That's right. Good. Mm hmm. Sauce foie gras. Sauce truffle butter. Sauce chives. Vanilla. Send them. Oh, God. Onion and egg, but No, I burned it, dude. Fuck. And serving. So easy to burn those. Good. Am I the right thing? Fuck. I burned another one, didn't I? Oh my god. Ah, god damn it, dude! Fuck! Fuck you, fuck you. It's done. Uh, I, this one's over. I gotta restart this. That's absolute ass. Absolute ass. This menu might be too hard. The burgers take too long. Last run for real this time, right? Gotta make more menudo. I think I'm gonna be more ready for this this time, but it is a tough menu. It's a tough menu indeed. Sauce and truffle butter, okay. Ready for the next stop? I think so. Ugh. Sauce on the steak looks divine. Oh, yeah. It's always been a strong suit of this game. Presentation is heavenly. This is a ridiculous burger. All right, got everything. Nice. Pretty good. Onions, mushroom, egg. Regular. Got it. That's Not bad. I am so proud of you. Thanks. Me too. go for this one. Pay more attention to what's running out this time, hopefully. There we go.
Ah, fuck. Okay. Whew. Jeez, man. This is hard. This menu's tough. Good. All right. So much slapping. There's a lot of slapping going on, yeah. Halfway already, so this is going to be a quick one. Ready? We're nearly there. Okay. Already there. Sauce, chives. Here we go. Similar setup. Okay. That's good. That was pretty easy, actually. Pretty easy stop there. No problem. Thank you. All right, uh, more menudo. Chocolates. Better. Good. I gotta be ready to go on these things because they cook so quickly when they're like blue rare and stuff. Don't wanna miss the opportunity. Already almost there. Red velvet, serve it up. Okay. Oh, those are holding. Okay, we'll be good. Onions and pretzel bun. Sauce for grass. Good. Uh, four. Nine. Fuck! Uh... Fuck. Damn it! I don't have any burgers. This sucks. Got it. Oof. Jeez. This is hard. Okay, there we go. Fuck! Oh, wait, no, I needed that. Okay, we're good. Oh, man! Man! Oh, this is final stop. Fuck, I thought it was done. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. We need more menudo. Need, uh, probably fresh nuggets, I guess. More patties, obviously. We got a little time before we get there. Peppermints. Uh-huh. Oh god, this is gonna be horrible. Pistachio. Oh, I burned one, didn't I? Fuck. My brain is breaking already, dude. Fuck.
Okay, got it. Got it. Oh, Jesus. Fuck, dude! Oh my god! Holy shit! Put the onions on before the meat. Yeah, obviously. Okay, good. Oh, fuck. I got it, I got it, we're good. I just... Oh, I served that wrong, no! Man! There goes my combo. All right. That was not the greatest day. That was hard! Bronze again, no! Oh, I thought I at least got the silver there. That was really hard. That was a much more difficult day. It had to be less than five when we got five. Messed up. Jeez, dude. Justin, how's it going, dude? You played in... Oh, this is your first time seeing Cook Serve Delicious? Dude, this game's fun. It is, it is insanely hectic, but... When you get into the groove of things, it's, it's very satisfying to get everything working correctly. Oh, man. Yeah, no, in the middle there, that all went to shit real quick. I tried to recover, but it was... It was an irredeemable situation for a moment there. Man. That was fun. Hold up. What's that under the windshield? Oh, shit! Lore! Dear chef, you have been royally invited to compete at the Iron Cook Food Truck Challenge in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah! Fame and glory await! A food truck competition in the nation's capital? Chef! That's amazing! We should leave right away. Okay, hold on, Whisk. I don't think this rust bucket is ready for a 2,000 mile long road trip. Sure it is! I'll plot a route that takes us through some of the most food-loving territories in the nation. That way we can earn some money, upgrade <laughs> the truck, and win the competition so Chef can get their restaurant I love back. the way the Chef looks in the back. That actually doesn't sound half bad. What do you say, Chef? Just completely exhausted. I mean, it's fine if you say no. It's really not so please. Choices are important. <laughs> and <laughs> as a sentient being, you do have the choice to say no, and then we could all go home. Cleaver. What? What? Let's just go home. I'm tired. Oh, okay, chef. I understand. <laughs> wow. You looked weak, but I didn't think that weak. <laughs> what? And the credits roll. <laughs> this is how I roll. Roll. Food truck on patrol. I cook with heart and soul. After giving it some thought, I'm ready to turn the food truck around and go on the adventure of a lifetime. All right. Let's get going. This is fantastic, man. Our first stop is in the city of Moab, Utah. Hey, I know that place. Heading to Utah first, huh? Cool. That is that is excellent, man. That was that was really great. Oh boy. Man, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for watching everybody. This is a treat. I did not expect to be playing Cook Serve Delicious 3 yesterday, and I am thrilled to be doing so, so thank you very much for being here. For all the big time support today, much love to you, appreciate all the bear hugs and such and whatnot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I might come on back.